Welcome to Strands of My Life in this video on the low FODMAP diet. Today I'm going to tell you about the solution to irritable bowel syndrome and that is the low FODMAP diet. This is a diet which has been scientifically proven to dramatically reduce the symptoms in 75% of those with IBS. Now that's massive. Those of us with IBS have a hard time absorbing the carbohydrates or the sugars in food. They're supposed to be absorbed in the small intestine and when that doesn't happen the sugars continue on down into the large intestine where the bacteria there ferments them causing bloating, pain and diarrhea and or constipation which are all the symptoms of IBS. FODMAP stands for fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides and polyols. Let's take them one by one. Fermentable is the process through which the gut bacteria break down undigested carbohydrate to produce gases which are hydrogen, methane, carbon dioxide. The oligosaccharides the fructo oligosaccharides or the FOS found in wheat, barley, rye, onions, garlic and other things. There are also the galacto oligosaccharides or GOS found in legumes and pulses. The D of FODMAP is disaccharides, it's the lactose found in milk, soft cheese, yogurts etc. The M is monosaccharide, which is the fructose in excess of the glucose, found in honey, many fruits and vegetables, and also in things like high fructose corn syrups, which is what a lot of processed food contains now because it's cheap for the manufacturers. And the P is polyols. The so sugar polyols like sorbitol and mannitol which are found in some fruit and vegetables and also used in artificial sweeteners. Anyone with irritable bowel syndrome has to try the FODMAP elimination diet since FODMAPs are bowel irritants for us. Now you can be tested for two of the five FODMAPs, fructose and lactose, through a hydrogen breath test and in some places you can also be tested for the sorbitol which is one of the polyols. But intolerance to the oligosaccharides and the other polyols can only be discovered through an elimination diet. So the elimination diet is essential to determine your intolerance levels to those two. I had the hydrogen breath test which showed that I absorbed fructose badly but that I was not lactose intolerant which I was very grateful for. Since starting the low FODMAP diet a couple of years ago, I found a new lease on life. I didn't know that one could eat and not feel discomfort and often pain. Now I know how the rest of the world lives and it feels like magic. I've recently made some life choices which didn't have to take into account my digestive system and it feels amazing to not be conditioned by my gut and to make choices that I could never have made before. I repeat, if you have any of the above symptoms or have been diagnosed with IBS, you have to try the low FODMAP diet. I've been to a string of doctors throughout my life and not one mentioned this possibility. I had to discover it myself online. So if you have IBS and are in pain and afraid to leave the toilet, I've created the Inspired Life Low FODMAP Coaching Program just for you. This is a difficult diet to implement and this program will support you for six weeks while you do that. If you're interested in having a chat about your issues in the program, please fill out the form at www.strandsofmylife.com slash inspiredlife and I'll give you a call.